Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne and psoriasis and eczema and rosacea and digestive ailments and autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis without drugs, without doctors, without pharmacists, without insurance companies, without Obamacare. It does it on its own, but it needs raw materials to do its work. The raw materials we call nutrition and nutritional supplementation. And while this healing, regenerating system may seem like a miracle to some folks, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. Our number today and every day on the bright side is 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side, 844-236-6010. If you want to sign up and help me in my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, sign up for uh, the bright side band longevity team. Make some money selling longevity products and spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. You can head over to brightsideben.com and sign up right off the website for a one time $25 fee. You can start yourself a longevity business, get your products at the wholesale price, and join the Brightside Ben team. I can help you grow your business if you so desire. 866 735 2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben team. Or you can. Uh, you can sign up right off the website, brightsideben.com. Also, pharmacistben.com. Thank you to Robert Lundgren who set that up for me. That's my website, my blog, as well as uh, news stories and as well as blog posts up at pharmacistben.com. And you can sign up right off the website or you can purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised in the program right off the websites, pharmacistben.com, brightsideben.com, or now my new blog with George Nori, criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side. Tomorrow we're going to be talking to... The founder of the probiotic industry, Natasha Trenev, author of Probiotics, Nature's Internal Healer. She is referred to as the mother of probiotics. She was one of the first gals to bring probiotics and good bacteria to the attention of the public. And we're going to have a nice discussion about good bacteria and probiotics tomorrow with Natasha Trenev. And we'll also continue talking about skin health. We're talking about hyaluronic acid, the all-around skin and connective tissue building molecule. As we've said, hyaluronic acid traps water. It's electrically charged. It stabilizes the outside part of a cell, the stuff that the cell is sitting in, the so-called cell matrix. It's involved in feeding cells. It's involved in detoxifying cells. It helps cells divide correctly. It's important for healing and strengthening. And uh, helps protect against excess sugar. This stuff is amazing, and it's 100% non-toxic, and it's pretty darn cheap, too, as a supplement. You can get it in uh, uh, cartilage products if you want to get it from foods. Bone soup is a good source of hyaluronic acid. All this is to say HA, or hyaluronic acid, is super important stuff. But if you're going to get the benefits of hyaluronic acid, at least as a supplement, you've got to make sure it gets into the blood through the digestive system, and, of course, that means the importance of digestive health. As it turns out, hyaluronic acid is also important for helping build the gut. So if you're one of the millions of Americans dealing with leaky gut syndrome, hyaluronic acid can be helpful for you too. This is why the glucogel caps are so important for building, uh, building the gut lining, building the connective tissue in the digestive tract. The glucogel caps don't contain directly, uh, don't contain hyaluronic acid directly, but because glucosamine is a precursor, a component of hyaluronic acid. By making sure you're getting enough glucosamine, you can build your own hyaluronic acid. 
We can improve connective tissue and hyaluronic acid content in the skin using topical skin care. Not necessarily by putting hyaluronic acid directly on the skin. That's not going to help build hyaluronic acid. If you put this stuff on top of the skin, you may get some softening, some moisturizing effects. Last week or a couple weeks ago, we talked about a product that's being advertised on TV that contains the stuff, hyaluronic acid, HA. By the way, it's high al uronic acid. High al uronic acid is found in skincare products, but that doesn't mean you're going to get the benefit of the stuff by rubbing it on your skin. You may get some moisturizing effects, but you're not going to be able to build your own HA by just rubbing it on the surface of the skin. You got to get underneath the surface. This is a, one of the key misunderstandings and one of the most important things to understand about skincare is you have to get past the surface. The very tippy top of the skin is made up of a fingernail-like substance, a hard fingernail-like substance, and for the most part, you're not going to be able to bypass that fingernail-like substance unless you use some, some, some clever strategies. We'll talk about one of those here in a minute. You can also make sure you're using fatty vitamin C and fatty vitamin A, or retinol or retinoic acid. Both of these have an ability to bypass the stratum corneum, that surface barrier. This is, the, this is why those, these two ingredients are so darn important. And uh, after 30 years, 30 plus years of being in the skincare business, what I've realized is these are the two most important, maybe even the two only ingredients you need to have beautiful skin from a topical perspective. Retinol and fatty vitamin C, and also alpha hydroxy acids, which will allow you to bypass that stratum corneum. They can, alpha hydroxy acids, you may have uh, heard the term glycolic acid and lactic acid. These are two ingredients that can help sort of shake up that fingernail-like surface, at least on the molecular level, and stimulate the production of of, of hyaluronic acid and collagen and various substances in the skin. Hyalur uh, alpha hydroxy acids, glycolic acid, lactic acid, vitamin C, and retinol, the three most important ingredients for skin care. If you want to uh, look at, uh, check out some, some vitamin C products and some retinol containing products, go to my website, truthtreatments.com. You'll find four very powerful products, three of which feature vitamin C and one of which features retinol with vitamin C. That's truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. So once you get past the stratum corneum, the surface barrier, the thin fingernail-like surface on the top, you get into the epidermis, and then you get into the good stuff, the connective tissue. 90% of the skin is this connective tissue. And this is the stuff we look at when we think our skin is thin or we think we're getting wrinkles or fine lines or when you look at an older person's skin as opposed to a younger person's skin. Most of the difference is in this lower level, the connective tissue. It's called the dermis. And within this connective tissue, within this dermis, this 90% of the skin that's located underneath the surface, you have cells called fibroblasts, and these are the holy grail of skin care. The fibroblasts, fibroblasts, as the name implies, are cells that make fibros or fibers, especially collagen fibers, and understanding how to access the fibroblasts is the key to having beautiful skin from a topical perspective. If you're buying your products, your skin health products, skin care products in a department store or salon or on the internet, the chances are pretty darn good you're not accessing your fibroblasts. The only way to do it is with super high concentrations, and I mean really high concentrations of fatty vitamin C, of retinol or retinoic acid, and then perhaps alpha hydroxy acids or glycolic acid or lactic acid. This is what makes these three ingredients so, so, so important. They turn on the fibroblast, and there are very little, in fact, I don't know of any topical ingredients that you can apply on the surface of the skin that will actually access those fibroblasts. There are some peptide ingredients. We've talked about peptides in the past that will do it, but for the most part, you're talking vitamin C, vitamin A, and then uh, alpha hydroxy acids, which don't directly access the fibroblasts, but turn them on. You want less wrinkles? You want more collagen? You want stronger connective tissue? Then you want to be stimulating the production of anti-wrinkle fibers. You want to be stimulating the production of collagen and ultimately stimulating the production of HA, high aluronic acid from the fibroblasts. And that's where retinol comes in, fatty vitamin C, and alpha hydroxy acids like glycolic acid. As far as HA goes, uh, high aluronic acid, high aluronic acid itself we'll turn on collagen production. We'll continue this discussion when we come back from our break and take your phone calls as well. 844-236-6010 is our number. 
All right, we are back on the bright side. Thank you for joining us, friends. 844-236-6010 is our number today. And every day on the bright side, we're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive page at brightsideben.com. You can also check out my blog and uh, my blog and also news stories at brightside at pharmacistben.com. And, of course, you can also purchase products directly off the website, pharmacistben.com, brightsideben.com, or my new blog with George Norrie of Coast to Coast at... Uh, uh, criticalhealthnews.com, criticalhealthnews.com. Tomorrow we're going to talk to Natasha Trenev, author of Probiotics, Nature's Internal Healer. She's the mother of the probiotic industry, the founder of the probiotic industry. We're going to talk good bacteria in the gut, the core of the gut, the core of digestive health, probiotics, good bacteria. Of course, you guys know I absolutely love the BioLumin Nightly Essence probiotics. Not only does the BioLumin Nightly Essence from Longevity have a, a, a huge dose of probiotic bacteria and a multiple spectrum of probiotic bacteria, but also get digestive enzymes, especially natokinase, a really neat enzyme that's important for blood circulation and for heart health, all in one supplement. We talked to uh, Troy Opperly, who formulated the product a couple of weeks ago, and he said he put, it, he put the two together because he didn't want to take a bunch of supplements. So he formulated the two, uh, digestive enzymes, natokinase, and probiotics into one supplement. And now you can take advantage of this very complete nutritional supplement. Head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase the products right at the website. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470. All right, so we're talking HA, hyaluronic acid. The best way to get hyaluronic acid or upregulate hyaluronic acid in your body is to eat hyaluronic acid-containing foods and, topically at least, to use uh, retinol and fatty vitamin C and alpha-hydroxy acids. One thing that's not going to affect your hyaluronic acid levels are these silicon water gels. Skincare companies and formulators love silicon. Silicon gives gives uh, products a really interesting feel. Silicon's got an electrical charge on it, and from a molecular standpoint, when you rub your f finger along silicon, you're actually creating a magnetic effect where your finger is sort of rising, at least from a microscopic standpoint, microscopic standpoint, rising off of your skin very, very slightly, and that gives the products, uh, the silicon-containing products, a sort of cushiony feel. And it feels really neat, especially on thin skin under the eyes. You'll find silicon in almost all eye cream products. And sometimes skincare manufacturers will make products that are mostly silicon. Why? Because it feels good. Not because it does anything for your skin. Last week we kind of deconstructed a product, or two weeks ago we deconstructed a product from Neutrogena. I don't like talking too much about products unless they're really egregiously nasty and, and, and rude to consumers. This one I felt, I felt was, so we talked about that. If you have a, a skincare product that's supposedly a moisturizing product or supposedly an anti-aging product or it's going to stimulate, supposedly it's going to stimulate anti-aging fibers, but all it is is silicon and water, that's a rip-off. That's not very nice. And I know the product we talked about a couple weeks ago wasn't very expensive, but still, it's not nice. It's dirty pool. Silicon does absolutely nothing from a chemistry perspective on the skin. It's inert, literally. It feels good, but it's inert. It's an electrical substance, and from a molecular standpoint, as you rub your finger against it, this electrical reaction that occurs between the silicons on your product, on the product you just applied, magnetically repels the electrons, the, the uh, electrical nature of your finger, and the net result is this velvety, cushiony feel. Unfortunately, as pleasant as that is, it tells you nothing about the effect a product is having on the skin, and the unscrupulous nature of skincare companies allows them to exploit the fact that consumers like the feel. They, like the th they find the feel of the product so attractive that they stick silicon everywhere. By the way, silicons, will always, you can always tell silicons on an ingredient deck, and be an ingredient deck reader on foods and in skincare, anything you interface with, food or top, uh, internally or topically. You want to be an ingredient deck reader, and you can always tell a silicon by the ending, the suffix O-N-E, own, dimethicone, cyclomethicone, amino dimethicone. O-N-E tells you you're dealing with a silicone. Now, sometimes skincare companies will get clever, and they'll call their silicones siloxanes, 
and siloxane, polysiloxane, you'll see often, S-I-L-O-X-A-N-E. That's just another way of saying silicon. So silicons or siloxane, cyclomethicone and dimethicone are the two biggies. They have absolutely no effect on the skin except for the feel. The product we talked about a couple weeks ago was 90% water, five or six, maybe even up to seven or eight, nine percent silicon. That's almost 100% of the product is silicon and water. Almost, a, and they marketed it by the way as an HA product, a high hyaluronic acid product. If you ever, whenever you feel a product on the skin, you get that kind of glide, that kind of slip. You're dealing with silicon. You're not doing anything. And skincare companies love it because it's a win-win. For one thing. Silicon's inert, so the manufacturer doesn't have to worry about side effects or allergies or irritation. Nobody's going to have a reaction to silicon. It's inert. And it's cheap. Really cheap. Many silicons are cost you a couple bucks. It cost, uh, not you, but it costs the skincare companies a couple of dollars a gallon. And number two, it's a win-win because consumers have been conditioned, hypnotized, into believing that the feel of a product means a change has occurred on the skin. This is the biggest misunderstanding in all of skincare. The idea that the feel of the product means something has happened to the skin. When you put a product in your skin and then you feel your skin, you're feeling product, not skin. This is a hypnotic trance we're under. We feel the product and we go, oh, I'm moisturized. No, you're not moisturized. You're slickerized. You've put a slick something on the surface of the skin, an oil or a silicone. When you feel your product on the skin. When you feel something on the skin, whether it's soft and velvety and nice and cushiony and moist, uh, slick, which we think is moisturization, you're feeling product on the skin, not the skin. If you really want to upregulate moisture factors, hyaluronic acid, collagen on the skin, what we want to be doing is turning on the production of these things. And there's lots of ways to do it. Hyaluronic acid breakdown, by the way, is a classic sign of aging, the shriveling and shrinking of our bodies, whether it occurs on the surface in the skin or whether it occurs internally in terms of the bones and the connective tissue in our blood vessels. All of these are classic signs of aging, which all means that upregulating hyaluronic acid is super duper mega anti-aging. It's how we are meant to anti-age our skin. Can you guys begin to see why I'm, I'm in love with hyaluronic acid as far as a skincare ingredient goes? Problem is, just because an ingredient, hyaluronic acid, is in the skin and just because it's an important part of the tissue doesn't mean you can apply the HA on the skin and create a change. I remember a few years ago there was a, a skincare marketer who was aware that women were beginning to understand what collagen was. And uh, he put out a product, the skincare company put out a product that had collagen in it. And everybody thought, oh, well, it has collagen in it, so it must be good for my collagen. And then pretty soon you saw lots of products with collagen. This was, the, this was the, eight, the late 70s and early 1980s when we really didn't understand a lot about the skin. Believe it or not, we didn't really understand a lot about the skin until the 1980s, late 1980s and 1990s. So by the 1979, 1980, 1981, we really didn't have a good idea about what the skin was, at least from a skin care, topical skin care perspective. Skin care science was just beginning. And so uh, people were bamboozled into believing by putting collagen on top of your skin, you were going to somehow create a change in your collagen. It isn't going to happen, never could happen. Likewise, with hyaluronic acid. So what do you do? How do you upregulate hyaluronic acid? Well, that's where skin exercise comes in. We talked a little bit about it yesterday, and we'll talk about it a lot tomorrow. We're coming back with your phone calls right after this. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. Tomorrow we're going to talk probiotic health, and we'll also continue talking about skin health and hyaluronic acid and using alpha-hydroxy acid, skin exercise. We'll get you some techniques for how you can actually apply or apply some of these uh, alpha-hydroxy acid skin exercise strategies. AHAs, alpha-hydroxy acids. Most women have heard about alpha-hydroxy acids. They've been in the news in the skincare world now for going on 25 years. First came out somewhere in the early 1990s. I'll tell you what, if anybody can tell me the first product, first product, call 844-236-6010. Tell me the first product that had alpha hydroxy acids in it from a consumer standpoint. First over-the-counter consumer product. I'll get you a free jug of Beyond Tang. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll send you out a free uh, jar of uh, one of my true serum products or true treatment products, your choice. 
except for the retinol. One of the three vitamin C products off truthtreatments.com. Call 844-236-6010. Whoever can tell me the first alpha hydroxy acid consumer product uh, that came out on the marketplace. All right, time to hit our phones. Karen in Florida, you've been on hold forever for almost an hour. What's going on? How you doing? Uh, yes, hello. This is Karen. Hey, Karen. Um, I was um, diagnosed a year ago on July 4th with a, a disease called a central thrombocytosis. Oh, so wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Say that again. Okay. <laughs> Essential. Essential. I'll tell you. Yeah. Thromb- thrombocytosis. Thrombocytosis. You sure it wasn't yes. it thrombocythemia? Uh, um, I'm sorry? Go ahead. I'm, I'm just teasing you. Basically, okay. basically what you're talking about is your cells are dividing like crazy. Yeah. You're, um, not cells, but your platelets are dividing like crazy. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, I was found during a gallbladder surgery. Well, hang on. Let's talk about this for a moment, okay? Because I'm okay. going to talk common sense to you because you sound like a smart lady. You know, the medical model wants us to be confused. Essential thrombocytosis. Oh, my God. What the heck is that? Essential thrombocytosis. That's uh, yeah. right. It sounds weird. It sounds like I can't even pronounce it. What the heck is it? All it means is your platelets are going crazy. The word essential, whenever you hear the word essential as an essential hypertension, sometimes you'll hear. Whenever you hear the word essential before a disease state, what, you're sa- what, what the doctor's telling you is we don't know what causes it. It's just part of your nature. It's how you are. Okay. That's, right? That's what essential means. Oh, I don't know what the heck's causing it. It's just, it's essential. It's just part of how you are. You know, that's okay. what they say when they don't know what's causing something. All right? Well, I'm telling you what's causing it. What do platelets do? Platelets are wound healers. All right? They seal things up. So clearly, your body thinks it needs to seal something up, all right? You following me? There's, yes. there's breakdown in the body. This is what's occurring inside the body. The platelets are being uh, pro- are proliferating like crazy because your body's trying to heal something. Okay. You with me? So what you yes. got to do, ma'am, if you want to take care of this problem, is you don't stop the thrombocytosis. You don't shut the platelets down. You figure out why the body thinks the, it has to produce so many platelets. So here's what you need to do. You need to look for symptoms, look for signs, and usually they're going to involve the digestive system. Are you with me? Yes. Okay. So when something gets into the body, when I say that into the body, I mean into the blood, through the digestive tract, over time, the body begins to, uh, begins to initiate a defensive response. And as that defensive response, uh, as the defensive responses accumulate over time, the body begins to break down. And it can happen in the blood vessels. Typically, it's going to happen inside the blood or inside the blood vessels. So what you want to do is you want to stop the stream of toxicity that's entering into the blood through the digestive system first and foremost. Are you with me? Okay. Yes, okay. Sir. That means uh, look for digestive symptoms, constipation, diarrhea, bloating, gas, heartburn, uh, sense of fullness after meals, nausea, queasiness, any of these things. Sound familiar, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Okay. Sorry. Uh, is that a yes? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, good. So if you know that you have these things, you're, on the, you're, you're halfway there. Some people don't even know they have these problems. So then they got to find them. You're halfway there if you know you have these problems. Then you want to link those up to foods, those digestive symptoms up to foods. Do a food diary where you write everything down, and then it'll begin to eliminate problem foods. At the same time as you're doing this, you're now going to have to start to build the body back up again. So it's, you're going to attack this or approach this from two angles. Number one, eliminating the stream of toxicity that's coming in through foods. And number two, start to build the body back up again, beginning with the digestive tract. Get on the Bioluminite nightly essence and the Fucoid Z. Three capsules of, the, of each in the morning, three capsules of each at night. Make sure you're on the healthy start pack. You might want to throw in the glucogel caps. Do two or three of those a couple times a day. And probably a good idea to use your ultimate enzymes after meals. Uh, and then make sure you're using a little bit of apple cider vinegar with your meals as well. And I say after meals. You could do with the meals or before the meals. Somewhere during your meal, do your ultimate enzymes and some apple cider vinegar. And the apple cider vinegar is, is especially effective after meals because it will shut down your appetite. Now, and then you're going to want to start to build. Then you're going to want to start to use protein to build the body back up again. And the best source of protein for somebody who's got some kind, some kind of digestive compromise is going to be bone soup or bone broth, where you take a chicken, drop it in a pot, turn it into soup, put some, something acidic in the water to help dissolve the cartilage. Uh, I like apple cider vinegar, but some people like lemon or lime. Something that's a tomato, something that's acidic will help dissolve that cartilage. And now go, all that stuff is going to go into the liquid. And as you're drinking your soup, you're going to be drinking a bone-building, body-building, pro, uh, easy-to-absorb protein beverage, if you will, or drink. 
Uh, make sure you're using an organic chicken or a hormone, organic, hormone-free, antibiotic-free chicken because all that stuff's coming out in the water as you're drinking. Uh, when you're doing your glucogel caps and your bone soup, make sure you're sipping on some Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Vitamin C is required for helping build things up. And then we've been talking about hyaluronic acid. You may want to try a hyaluronic acid supplement, about 100 milligrams a day. You may also want to try liquid silica gel, about a teaspoon of that a day. All of these have building properties, and that's what you're looking at. Start to build the body back up again. Remove the stream of toxicity that's getting into the body. You should use all the nutritional supplements we talked about, and you should start to notice some improvement. Hope that helps. Is there anything else you want to ask? Um, okay, no, that was, that's about it. Good deal. There you go. Thanks so much for your call. Appreciate it. All right, uh, let's move on to, do, 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 let's go to Chuck in Idaho. What's up, Chuck? Hey, Ben. How you doing? Doing good. Good. Hey, I appreciate all you do. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I've got a couple of things going on, but um, one, I've been diagnosed with Hashimoto's. It was like eight years ago. Okay. Um, took him forever to figure out what it was, which is so common. I don't know why. It's, it's so uh, it's so common. It's not difficult at all. Hashimoto's is an autoimmune disease. It usually affects women. So you're one of the lucky guys, I suppose. Yeah, exactly. I guess. <laughs> Who gets it? <laughs> so in, in, I'm just teasing. In any case, I know, I know. Uh, you're looking at an autoimmune problem. Whenever you hear the word autoimmune, the operative word or operative part of the word is immune. Immune hey. means defense. Can an autoimmune, an autoimmune issue is a defensive issue. The body's protecting itself. Something right. is getting into the blood that the body feels is the enemy. And this enemy, it's a food usually, obviously it's getting in through the digestive system, cross-reacts with the thyroid. So what you want to do is you want to, same as we were talking about with Karen, you want to look for problem foods. And by that I mean foods that cause digestive distress. Your hypothyroid symptoms will subside if you fast. So you can, you know, obviously have to eat, but if you fast for a day or two, do a Swero-V cleanse. It's a good idea for everybody to be doing a Swero-V cleanse once a month. That's where you get the Swero-V product, uh, the Swero-V product from... Uh, uh, from uh, brightsideben.com or criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com. Uh, order the Swear V Gold or whatever Swear V you like and do half a bottle every hour for 12 hour day and do it, uh, or 12 hours, so it'll be six bottles a day and do it maybe two or three days if you can, at least one day, and you'll notice an improvement. So f well, work on the digestive system and then uh, maybe do a fast or two. Hang tight, Chuck, because I'm going to give you a couple more ideas here for helping strengthen the digestive system. This is true, for, by the way, for all the listeners, this is true for all autoimmune issues. So hang tight. Uh, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. All right, we're back on The Bright Side talking to Chuck in Idaho. Chuck, so uh, hypothyroidism, auto Hashimoto's, uh, Hashimoto's thyroid, very common, as you said. Uh, first thing on all autoimmune issues is focus on digestive health. The way an autoimmune disease gets initiated is something gets into the blood, the body reacts against that substance, and then organs in the body, which from the immune system molecular perspective, it all looks the same. Your thyroid looks like hamburger or soy or something you've eaten from a molecular perspective, so there's cross reactions that occur. That's autoimmunity. So for autoimmune issues, you want to help the digestive system process foods and build up the gut lining and eliminate problem foods. All autoimmune issues, including the thyroid. Uh, now, a lot of folks will tell you to take iodine. You probably heard take iodine for hypothyroidism, right? That right, doesn't, do. anybody who tells you that doesn't understand how the body works. Mm -hmm. If your thyroid is messed up, how's iodine going to help? Iodine helps thyroid hormone work, but it doesn't help the thyroid work. The thyroid, the gland, the system is, uh, when it's broken down, you can take all the iodine you want. It's not going to necessarily repair your thyroid, although it may make the hormone work a little bit better. Not that iodine's not important. It's super important, but just not necessarily curative for hypothyroidism, especially Hashimoto's. So focus on digestive health. I know I say it all the time, and I hope people aren't tuning out. You know, I hope this isn't going in one ear and out the other. It's so darn important. Now, another thing, thyroid hormone is activated in the gut. So aside from the fact that you have an autoimmune, uh, that when you have Hashimoto's and an autoimmune issues, your gut is breaking down, thyroid hormone itself requires the uh, probiotics and good bacteria for its activation. So make sure you're using your Biolumin Nightly Essence, three capsules in the morning, three capsules at night. Make sure you're using fiber and living foods, juices. If you have a Vitamix, that's awesome. Start juicing celery juice and cabbage, or celery and cabbage. 
uh, sprouts and do uh, vegetable juices, these live juices, making sure you keep the fiber. All of this will help nurture uh, the bacteria in the gut so that they can proliferate and live long, healthy lives for bacteria, whatever that is. And then uh, make sure you're uh, avoiding contact with anything that kills those bacteria. Chlorine, fluoride, and certainly antibiotics will all do that. Uh, slow, deep breathing can help. There's a very important relationship between the adrenal glands and the thyroid. So when you're hyperadrenal, when you're freaked out, when you've got lots of cortisol going on and you've got a stressful life lifestyle and you're running on adrenal energy, eventually the thyroid will slow down and that will compound the problem. So making sure that you're working with the adrenal glands and calming the body down, activating the relaxation, rest, and digest nervous system. Salt, Celtic sea salt, is tremendous for the adrenal glands. Making sure you're doing a little salt. You probably crave salt. Most folks with hypothyroidism do crave salt. Most folks crave salt, but especially if you have hypothyroid issues. So get yourself some Celtic sea salt. You know what that is, Chuck? Uh, I haven't heard of the Celtic part of it. Celtic sea salt you can find on the internet or in a health food store. Put a quarter teaspoonful in water or a little bit more if you like, and then sip on that water. Great for the adrenal glands. Also, vitamin C and zinc are two very important nutrients for the adrenal glands. Vitamin B12 is important for the, for the whole body, but especially for the adrenals and for the thyroid. You may want to consider B12 injections. And, of course, the Healthy Start Pack, sipping slowly on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine throughout the day. All right, got a lot of stuff you could do there, Chuck, but nobody has to have hypothyroidism, Hashimoto's, or otherwise, and nobody has to have an autoimmune problem. Yes, sir. I appreciate that. Do you have any tips on how to actually wean yourself off of, like, see, I'm taking Synthroid and Armor because... It's, it, it's so Synthroid and Armor, are they helping you, Chuck? Well, I think it kept me alive because it was almost to the point where I felt like I was actually going to die. Floating. Well, I mean, are they helping your th are they helping your thyroid? Are you are, is your hypothyroidism going away? No, they're just putting the hormone in me, so I don't. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Thyroid. We want to we want to work on your thyroid so you can make your own thyroid hormone gradually as you t apply these star these strategies we're talking about. You can gradually wean yourself off of Synthroid, which every pharmacist will tell you doesn't really work very well because it's hard to manufacture that pill. That's why they have to do they do you have to keep raising your dose or changing your dose on the Synthroid, uh, that's typically... We've, we've made a ton of adjustments along That's the typically what happens. Typically what happens with Synthroid is they got to play around with the dose every time you go to the doctor because it's they, almost yeah, impossible they, to, to build this pill, to manufacture and, this pill. Go ahead, I'm sorry. And they're always going, and they're always going by the TSH level. Right, not you know. by necessarily how you feel. Listen, TSH is just a way doctors uh, uh, metricize you, put you in the computer, code you into the computer so that they can right. figure out what kind of protocol to use and how to bill you. That's what metrics do. That's what TSH does. That's what bone mineral density does. That's what all cholesterol levels, all these metrics, all these tests are simply ways to code you into the computer to figure out how to give you uh, what kind of protocol you need and to bill you. All right, so Chuck, you, I, so, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead, I was going to say, so bottom line is, um, as I start implementing all these suggestions, then I could slowly yes. reduce the dose and yes. over time see how I'm doing. Okay. Yes, as you get stronger, okay. exactly. Okay, now I do have another question. It's another subject, and I'll be quick. It's okay. um, quite embarrassing, so I'm glad everybody doesn't see me right now. Okay. Um, but... <laughs> No, it's. Uh, I have this weird little bump. It's like a pea-sized bump, and it's right on the outside of my... Your penis. private parts. <laughs> yeah. Your private part. You know what that yeah. is? That's, that's interesting, because doctors are mystified by that. I, I talked to a guy a couple of years ago who had that problem. Here's the deal. If you don't understand how the body works, you're not going to understand what the heck that little bump is from, right? What the heck is going on down there? What could be happening? Yeah. The, if you don't understand the body, and unfortunately, most doctors don't. So here's what you need to do. You need to recognize that if you zoom in with your x-ray vision into that part of your body, you're going to find lymphatic vessels. The lymphatic system is your sewage control system. Your sewage system. You follow me? Have you heard that term, the lymph? Yes, when I you have. Ha when you have bumps that are rising up from the bottom part of the skin upwards, not skin problems, but bu you know how I'm talking about how it rises up from the inside, rises up towards yeah. the top? You're dealing okay. with a lymphatic issue, a sewage okay. issue, a molecular sewage issue. Molecular sewage builds up over the course of time as we have this digestive toxicity entering into the bloodstream. You follow me? It's the same problem. So you, everything I told you about with, for, for, with the digestive tract and the probiotics and food diary, eliminating problem foods, all of this will help. Consider it a lymphatic issue. Do you know what I mean when I say that, Chuck? The, yeah, I do. the lymph. 
the circulatory system, the, the vessels of sewage, if you will, I, you know, that's graphic and it's kind of gross, but it's molecular sewage is starting to clog up. It's like basically, uh, it's like if you had, uh, if you had uh, with kids, they'll, they'll do tonsillectomies when this happens. The, the tonsils are part of the lymph system, the sewage mm -hmm. system. You're looking at an issue, a lymphatic issue in that part of the body, and basically it's a toxicity issue. So focus on the gut, build the digestive lining, eliminate problem foods, all the things we talked about. Same, same deal. As you work on your thyroid, you'll help that problem as well. And we have a rebounder too, so I'm going to be bouncing. That's another one. Yes, yeah. moving uh -huh. the body. Absolutely, yeah. deep breathing is another way to move the move the lymphatic vessels. The lymph doesn't have a pump like the heart. The lymph requires you to be the pump, and that's why exercise is so important. Moving the body around, get on that rebounder. Good right, deal, okay. Chuck. And I've been wanting to not go to the doctor because the first thing they want to do is cut it out, and then they can't. Whatever, you know, isn't that ridiculous? They'll cut it yeah. out. It's the most idiot. <sighs> I don't want to get I don't want to get mad. Here. Thanks, Chuck. <laughs> Thank you so much. Take care, buddy. Bye-bye. All right, Julie, you want to uh, you want to answer our question here. What's going on? Got Are Julie? You talking to me? Yes, Julie. Yeah. What's up? Uh, first alpha well, hydroxy acid product. My guess is Avon was the first one. You are a sharp cookie. What was it called? <sighs> oh. Uh, don't worry about it. You don't, they just you know, say that they were the first one that did it. <laughs> they were the first one who did it. Send me an email, ben at ksco.com, ben at ksco.com, and, uh, and I'll send you out a, uh, what do you want, this, my true serum, truth bomb, or the Omega-6 healing cream? Um, uh, Why don't you get on the know, website? I'll have to look it up. Yeah, get on okay, the website, ben? tell me what you want, and I'm going to send you, and I'll send you a, a, a jar of it, and uh, I'll do it on me, and make sure you put your address, put on the, in the subject heading, uh, Julie. Actually, put your phone number in there so we can talk on the phone, Okay. Okay, at K-O-C? No, no, Ben at K-S-C-O dot com. K for King, hey. S for Sam, C for Cat, O for Oscar. Make sure you put ah, Julie from okay. Alabama. And put your phone number. Okay. We'll have a conversation. Thanks, Julie. I want to get a couple more calls in here. Okay, uh, uh, let's see. Let's go, to, do, 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 let's go to Dan in Nebraska. You know, we only have about a minute, Dan, so we'll have to go quickly here. Hi there, Will. I uh, wanted to thank you again for uh, God is Always Hiring, that book you sent us, and uh, oh, that awesome. was really wonderful. Isn't that a neat book? Yeah, thank you very much. My I, pleasure. I was calling today because I've got some tendon issues. My shoulder, in the front of my shoulder, at the, at the frontmost point of my shoulder, it kind of radiates out pain. So okay, I use good. my bicep muscle. It, it goes down to the bicep, to the elbow. Are you Actually, working out? Are you doing any exercise? I have been, but uh, I had to stop. Okay. And then I have uh, a, a wrist. My wrist is very painful. Uh, okay. And sounds, like you're, sounds like you're starting to dis dissolve there, Dan, in Nebraska. How old are you, man? I'm only 47, sir. You're a youngster, so that's good yeah. news. All right, there's the music. So I'm going to give you some ideas, all right? It's an inflama inflammatory problem, and as the inflammation accrues, you're not going to be able to build up. So you get this vicious downward cycle where inflammation causes a problem with building, causes more inflammation, causes a problem with building, etc. So number one, stop the stream of toxicity. That's the digestive system. Number two, get on the glucogel caps and the healthy start pack. And then uh, number three, start to use digestive support supplements. Digestive enzymes are awesome. Apple cider vinegar with your enzymes. And then take some enzymes on an empty stomach. They've got anti-inflammatory properties. Don't forget the bone soup. And always do vitamin C with your building supplements. Vitamin C is important. It's the rate-limiting step, as they say, the activator for building connective tissue. So many more things you could do, Dan. That'll give you a start. And thanks for your call. Appreciate it. That's all the time we have for today. We'll be back at you tomorrow. We'll talk more skin health, and we'll talk some probiotics as well. Thanks for listening, friends. Have an awesome, spectacular, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.